Jim? Jimmy Bob? Jimmy Johns? Jimmy, Jimmy Neutron? John. Wanna go to the gym? <laughs> what? You're you little sneaky man! She did have the biggest boobs in my grades. <gasps> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are in a slightly different location today because we are trying out something new. I've never done this before and I got really excited about it. Rather than filming silent clips of me getting ready with voiceovers on top, I decided to film a more casual video where I can still talk to you guys and talk about the entire process of getting ready, but also about other random things. I'm gonna stop talking now. If you guys wanna figure out how I created this look right here, then keep on watching. All right. <laughs> that sounds like we're filming something very uh, Let me get on the bed. suggestive. <laughs> I have never done this before. I'm really excited. Side note, we've got Drew McDonald over here on the bed behind you guys. Hey so guys. Don't really have a plan for today's look, but we're just gonna see where this goes. Before foundation, I like to do something to prime my face. Lately, I've been obsessed with the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. I swear to God, this lotion is, it's clearing up my skin and also taking away redness. So I just applied two pumps of this and I mix it in with the Saint Tropez Self Tan Classic uh, Face Lotion to add a little bit of color onto my face to match my body. Now time for foundation. I've been using this foundation for definitely over a year now. I like to apply it with this little spongy beauty blender and they came out with a nude color one, which is so smart because the pink ones always end up looking so gross and dirty, so I was very happy about that. What you doing? Currently snapping you, honestly. You- oh wow. Yeah. I don't know what to talk about. Really difficult. Ooh! Comment down below if you're going to Coachella, because I am going for the first time this year, and I'm- yeah, baby. I'm so excited. Oh! oh. What that's, was that? That's a trick. Next up, I'm going to use the Maybelline Age Rewind Dark Circles Eraser. I always go back to it. It's really good. So. Applying it under the eyes. I'm gonna add a little bit right here as well. Oh, yeah And then I'm just going in and blending with this once again. What is your favorite show at the moment? <gasps> oh my gosh, okay. What is it called? Ja Jame Guys you need to see it. It's like an Australian TV show. I think yeah, uh, by the way I look like such a ghost right now. I promise it won't look like this in a second By the way, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent powder and I'm pressing that on my face with this sponge. But anyways, how do you explain the Amazingness of that show basically a girl who goes to private school and she just absolutely ridiculous and she's played by a guy So it's just like extra funny. Yeah, she's played by like a middle-aged man Yeah, and all of her best friends are like really hot young teenage girls and no one acknowledges the fact that she is literally a man <laughs> um, <laughs> And it's really funny. It's good. I've only seen one episode, so I don't know if I can say that's my new favorite show but uh, I highly recommend for some good laughs and giggles. I used my lightest foundation today and I think I should have gone with a slightly darker one, but that's all good. We're going to fix that right now with some Hula Benefit bronzer. So I'm gonna go in and start contouring my cheeks. What's the first thing you do when you wake up and the last thing you do before bed? Oh, I like that question. But the first thing I do when I wake up is read my text message from Drew because every single morning <laughs> we're texting each other, Jim? Jimmy Bob? Jimmy Johns? Jimmy, Jimmy Neutron? Neutron? Wanna go to the gym? <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel? <laughs> That's literally the first thing we both do. <laughs> it is. Um, Cause we've been going to the gym every morning, which yeah, is baby. super fun. The last thing I do before I go to bed, once again, I do something on my phone, whether it's like texting someone goodnight or just checking all my social media for the day. Wouldn't you say that's your answer too? Yeah. How sad is that? It's sad, but it's like, we have to keep, like, we have yeah, to- Yeah, it's, it's like our job, you yeah, know? Exactly. Like, we have to keep up with stuff. Would you like to tell us about your first kiss story, Claudia? Oh, <laughs> this is like such a classic question. He'll be nameless, what should, what should his name be? Daryl. Daryl. It was in eighth grade, I would say. By the way, guys, filling in the brows with my Benefit Browsing Palette, and I'm using the gel first. But anyways, after school, my friend group and one of our like guy friend groups, we used to always go to the park and play. It was time to say goodbye after all of us playing at the park and like the girls were standing on one side, the boys were standing on the other side and we were going in to say goodbye and I remember significantly struggling between should I kiss him first and then hug him or are you supposed to hug and kiss? What do you think, Drew? How old were you? Eighth grade. Definitely hug. 
That's what I thought, yeah. right? No, 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 no. So we start going in to say the goodbye, and Claudia is starting to go in for the hug. Daryl is starting to go for the kiss, so a kind of weird, like, swooping motion goes where it looked like I dodged his face or something. <laughs> and then we awkwardly hug because he thought he just got shut down. I remember kind of pulling back and being like, wait, and then I kissed him, and then that was it. That's some steamy stuff right there. Isn't it? Very sensual, very romantic. <laughs> what about your first kiss, Drew? My first kiss was with a girl. And yeah. And she planted it on me. Ooh. I was definitely too nervous to make the first move, so I'm kind of glad that it happened that way. It was good. Is Was this like a peck or was there like... Oh no, there was definitely some tongue involved. Whoa, wait, I your was, first kiss was like, like was full blown? It was in ninth grade. Oh wow. So I was like, not late, yeah. but like wasn't early either. So like I was definitely, you know, trying to trying to get the tongue in there. Wow. Yeah. Straight Drew, that's a concept. Mm -hmm. <laughs> was Straight Drew like a player? Straight Drew did get the girls. I will say that she did Ooh. have the biggest boobs in my grades. So. <gasps> well done. Thank you. Well Thank done, Drewber. <laughs> Another question is, which trip that you've taken with Logan so far has been your favorite? Ooh, so far Logan and I have had three trips. That's like tough to answer because they're all so different. Like I feel like Logan and I do a lot of adventurous things, which is great. It's so awesome finding people in your life that encourage you to like get out and do adventure. things rather than, yeah, exactly, adventure and do things rather than thinking. That's been like kind of like a common motto that I've been saying in my head lately is stop thinking about it and just do it. But I feel like each trip was kind of very specific and different on its own. And obviously the more you hang out with someone, the more you kind of get to know them. I don't have an answer, guys. <laughs> Lately, I've been using the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. I've honestly been using it almost every single day. I really, really like the colors. We're gonna be playing with this puppy tonight, guys. I'm gonna go in with Harajuku, which is like a light taupey brown, and apply that to the crease. What are we doing tonight, Drew? We are going out, baby. <laughs> Don't know where, but we're going out. We're gonna leave the house. <laughs> We're gonna leave the house. Maybe take a venture to the grocery store. Maybe some Ooh. Trader Joe's action. Is it the zoo? The zoo at 11 p.m. Go record a song. Oh, there's this one museum here called the Death Museum. Have you heard of it? No. I'm really, look it up. And do you wanna go? <laughs> kind of. Okay, okay. How does, like, does that not intrigue you? I'm definitely intrigued, but I'm also <laughs> concerned. We're gonna grab Pop. It's kind of like a rose gold, goldy, shimmery color. And throw that on. I love the golds. This is everything to me. Ooh, this is kind of more of a pink. Oh, I love <laughs> rose gold. <laughs> Incredible. If all your videos got deleted and you could only redeem one back, which video would you save? Oh, I already know. My nighttime routine. The one that I filmed where different things happen. So good. Right? Yeah. That one. Yeah. I'll link it down below, one. guys. That is honestly my proudest video because I love the concept. I love the way I filmed it. The music was awesome. Shout out to Corby. I don't know what to do now. Okay, I'm gonna grab a slightly darker brown and just kind of pop that in there. Does anyone else kind of cringe when people say like pop that in there? Like I'm gonna pop some blush onto my cheeks. That doesn't make me cringe. No? No. I'm gonna pop this into my crease. Uh, gee, yeah, it's a little cringy. Packing. Packing! That's a good one. You're still getting a lot of Logan. Guys, stop asking questions about Logan. <laughs> what? You're, you little <laughs> sneaky man! <laughs> Drew tweeted off my iPad, and he's tweeting, let's see, Drew is such a hunk. I love that boy. <laughs> you made it too easy, you know? I'm sorry, I didn't realize we were like 16 again. Oh! <laughs> right, <honestly. laughs> we're gonna add this little uh, burnt pink glittery, I don't know what to call it, this eyeshadow. Um, we're gonna put it on the outer half. Where would you like to live when you settle down, get married, and have kids? I feel like I wanna stay closer to the western side of our country, up above California, or a little to the right, like somewhere more on this side. Sorry, mom and dad. But I don't want to raise kids in LA. That's the one thing that I know. I'm going back in with this medium brown eyeshadow and applying it to my lower lashes currently. Drew, where do you want to live? I agree. I don't want to live like in LA, but I definitely want to live on the West Coast. Yeah. Um, maybe like San Francisco or like... That's what I was thinking, like somewhere up there, yeah. Yeah, somewhere a little bit more north. Great. I need a lake when I grow up. 
I need a lake house. Mm -hmm. I need jet skis. Tubes. A boat. Tubes. All the above. Like honestly, some of my best summer memories. Me too. How are the eyes looking? What do you think? They look really good. You're serving Greek goddess vibes. Oh, thanks! Lately, I've been really into using black eyeshadow as a substitute for eyeliner. I just feel like I have more control. It's softer, it's not as harsh. So I'm just grabbing this little angled brush and dabbing it into the black eyeshadow. Damn, Claudia. Back at it again with that eyeshadow eyeliner. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm sorry. <laughs> he got a lifetime of vans. Like, he no has way. vans for the rest of his life. Is that too big of a wing? From back here, definitely not. It's a little crazy, but like, we're going to the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> I also like to bring down the black eyeshadow. I have a question for you guys. I recently lightened my hair, and right now it's kind of more of like a light brown, I would say. But I don't know if I want to go lighter or darker. The blonde is such a look. I yeah. honestly think you look more natural and like really, really? with the dark hair, but like. Oh, yeah, yeah, agreed with that. Yeah, yeah, but like the light is just like, it's a fun little change. It's like, hey, yeah, it's like it's almost summer, it's spring right now. I'm lightening stuff up, like... This is true. Yeah. And I think because I already got my hair done and I'm kind of already on that path, I'd rather do it now, now than, than reverse and then do it later, you know? Just don't destroy your hair. So all... That's, the only that's, thing. yeah. All right. All right, all right, all right. My favorite mascara is actually not the one that I'm using today because I ran out of it. It's the Benefit Roller Lash. But this is my next favorite. It's their, their real mascara. We're going to go in and apply on some mascara. Benefit has the cutest packaging. Yeah. Can we talk about what my mirror is sitting under right now? It's a giant, it's a giant box. hula box. Yeah. And inside, they sent out all of their newest like Hula bronzing products, which I will mention in my next favorites video because they're so awesome. Ah, oh, my chapstick is all the way up there. Oh my god! Oh! I found the chapstick. <laughs> That's my favorite video on YouTube. So good. We have reenacted it in San Francisco. Oh my gosh. Uh-huh. I forgot about that. For lips, I'm going to try out a different and new product. It is the NYX Lingerie Lipstick. It's like a liquid lipstick, so it dries matte on your lips. I have two colors. I'm trying to figure out which one I want to use. The shade that I'm going to use is Bedtime Flirt. Such sensual names. Yeah, it's called damn. Lingerie. I wonder what the other one's called. Push up? Oh yeah, these are all sexual. <laughs> I wish I had them all on me right now, but bedtime flirt is today's choice. Oh yeah, this one's good. Yeah, lately I've been all about the liquid to matte lipsticks. I feel like they stay on really well. I prefer matte lips over a glossy. I'm gonna go in and finish my brows because I didn't really add on any powder. It's so sad that I'm literally not even leaving this bedroom after this. Like really Nothing. done too. I feel like I should honestly just keep that in. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Not going anywhere. <laughs> we are almost done here, ladies and gents. Um, I'm gonna go in with a blush that I actually haven't used in quite a bit, but I used to love this stuff. It's the Maybelline Master Highlight Highlighting Blush. This is in the shade Nude, by the way. Just adding a little bit of that. Lastly, I'm gonna go in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the shade Soft and Gentle and just very lightly highlight my face. I don't wanna put too much on because the blush was already very highlighting, but I'm gonna add a bit to my nose, above my lip. Honestly, let's, let's chuck it onto that brow bone. Let's pop it on there. Ooh, yeah. Pack it. What else can we call it? Pack it, smudge it, Smudge it. Pop it. Smear it. Smear it. Spice it. Spice it. Coat it. Coat it. I'm gonna coat my brow bone with this highlighter. Ooh, I love that. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. And then we're just going to dust it Whoa. on the tops of my cheeks a little bit. Guys, who else is getting excited about these words? <laughs> so we're gonna go in with the White Charcoal Mattify Mattifying Makeup Setting Spray. Fabulous! The face is done! I don't know how to go about ending off today's video because I've never done this before. <laughs> but this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me get ready 
with Drew. Um, <laughs> but yeah, let me know if you guys want me to do this more often. I know that I don't really film makeup tutorials that often on my channel because honestly, I usually just stick with the same products and I don't really go too crazy. But if you guys like more casual videos like this where I kind of talk slash get ready with you, then thumbs up this video. This is really fun. It's new. It's exciting. I feel young again. <laughs> um, okay, I love you guys so much and I'll see you for a new video next week. Bye!